The use transition hook is trying to address an issue that has been plaguing React applications ever since the beginning. And the issue is the following. When you're trying to fetch data from multiple different sources, sometimes due to their asynchronous nature, they will be fetched and displayed at different times. And let me show you an example that I took from the official uh, React documentation. So I'm gonna click the next button and you'll see in this instance, the name of the person, I believe this is the Beatle. I'm not really a Beatles fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope I didn't offend anyone here. Uh, in some cases, the name will be displayed first, but the description later. And this causes, in my opinion, and some suboptimal user experience. I click next. In this case, the name of the Beatle and his description was displayed at the same time, which is better. But if I'm going to click next a couple of times, uh, like now, you'll see exactly what I mean. So now let's see what happens when I wrapped the state change. This piece of code here actually uh, does the fetching and displaying of the data. I wrapped that with the start transition, which I got from the use transition hook. So now when I'm, I'm going to save my code and refresh the application, I click next button and you'll see that every single time the name of the beetle and the description was displayed at the same time, even though they're not fetched at the same time. Also what's happening here, and this is just to improve the user experience. When I click the next button, it becomes disabled and then the loading text is being displayed. Again, you can check it out. This very example uh, is available uh, from the React Docs page. You may encounter this weird issue when trying to access the official docs. Let's, uh, let's open one of the examples provided by, by the team. When you try to click the next button here, you'll see an error. Start transition is not a function. And it's weird because uh, when I looked actually how use transition is implemented and what it returns, it turns out that the actual order of those arguments should be reversed. So the function that actually starts the transition is the second element in that array. And the first one is the is pending Boolean. So now that I fix this, uh, I'm going to click next button and it's working fine without any issues. So I'm not sure if this is going to be fixed in the, in the next uh, up, update, 18, uh, what, 18.0.1. Uh, I don't know, but um, just something I think that you should be aware of. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, if you guys like the content, make sure to subscribe and like, and please let me know in the comments what you think. And also if you have any other questions or maybe there's a topic that you would like me to cover. So yeah, until next time, peace.